So I have a slightly different topic for today. The topic is the art of being able to admit that you're being stupid. I want to tell you a little story that happened uh, this week. I was working with a student assistant. A, a support case came up. Someone was asking about an error message that they were experiencing on some system somewhere. And I handed the case to them because they're, they're relatively new to the game. They're not familiar with technology. They're not familiar with troubleshooting and all of this other wonderful stuff. So I hand them the case and uh, I say, so tell me what you think about this. You know, I'm trying to engage some level of critical thought. They did some Googling, which is good because they should be doing some searching for information. Um, that's an absolutely critical thing in the IT field, in any field. They read something and then they did something that all of us do. They did this kind of intuitive jump. They went from point A and made an educated guess and ended up in point F or something. And I stopped there and I thought about it and I said, why do you think that is the case. I didn't tell them they were wrong. I didn't tell them that they were being silly. I, I asked them a practical question. And that question was, why do you think that that was the course? Why do you think that that's the destination? And that person stopped and thought about it for a moment. And they said, I guess I was guessing. And I said, yes, you were very much guessing. And I asked them why. And they said, because I didn't want to feel like an idiot because I want to provide some kind of answer. And that's the big problem. No one wants to feel like they're stupid. And I'm here to tell you that it's okay to feel stupid, at least most of the time. You know, in America specifically, in most parts of the world, I suspect, there's a strong sentiment that you want to feel as competent as absolutely possible. And uh, you want to go in there with an image of absolute knowledge. In trade skill jobs, you want to demonstrate that you have an absolute command of something. And you never want to look like an idiot in front of someone, especially your supervisor. If you're working on a help desk, the last thing you want to do is to convey some level of incompetence to your customers. If you're working in a supermarket, the last thing you really want to do is sit there and go, oh, I don't know where that is. <laughs> Lol. Good luck finding that product. You don't want to do this stuff, right? No one wants to look like an idiot, but there's value to being able to recognize that you're being an idiot. Too frequently, we find ourselves in circumstances where we end up making these educated jumps or uneducated jumps so that we don't look like idiots. And it's important to recognize that you're making those jumps because sometimes, sometimes, this is our intuition kicking in. And that instinct that we have is really important. It's something that we all rely on to survive. Uh, when we don't have enough information to make the jump from point A to point B, we use our intuition to connect that bridge. Um, but there are some times when we have to be able to recognize that the intuition is harmful. In a job, it is frequently one of those cases. You don't want to be a doctor and go, hmm. I had a hunch. If you're in information technology, especially if you're doing support, you don't want to just kind of randomly stab at stuff. You want to have an educated understanding of where you're going. Being able to communicate that is important. Being able to tell the person we need to conduct a little bit more research because you don't want to throw random um, answers at them and hope that works. You know, spitballing is not the kind of thing you do. The flip side of this is that there needs to be a little bit more tolerance from all of us, including myself, at help desks and other people who are helping us because it's really, really, really easy for them to ask questions that irritate us. Why do we have to tell you all of this? Can't you just answer the question? And we as humans tend to lack the discipline to say, no, they can't just answer it. They need to ask questions so that they have the necessary foundational information so that they can answer. So this is the art of being stupid, being able to look at what you've done, being able to look at your assumptions and being able to judge whether you're making a jump and whether there are other possibilities and being able to gracefully communicate that to the people at hand. Your supervisor comes to you and says, I need that machine fixed. Your response shouldn't be, I don't know how to do that. Your response should be, well, I need to go look at the manual and I will take care of it. And you go and you get the manual and you do the reading because in reality, they're not going to expect you to know everything. They want you to know enough. That's my tip for everyone for today. Don't be afraid to be a little stupid. Don't be so wrapped up in your own sense of preservation and don't be so wrapped up in the moment that you feel like you have to absolutely know everything. Don't be afraid to admit that you don't know. The more you can admit you don't know, the more you'll know in the long run. Thank you for hearing my ramblings. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment because it always helps. Take care.